I'm the Regional Development Officer for the Irish Sailing Association. That's the national governing body for sailing, paraboating, windsurfing. And I, this is my area that I work in. And um, my function is to increase participation and support the local clubs. Um, today, I'm also here as an instructor. Um, there's a great programme we have in the Irish Sailing Association called Tri Sailing. And as part of that, Bally Craher Boat Club have uh, linked with their local transition year school and they're bringing the students here to try sailing today. So I'm here to support them, give them a, a help, get them out on the water. It, it's a fabulous club. It, it's a small rural club with a big heart, great uh, involvement on the volunteers. Um, you'd see many, I'd travel around the country and big clubs you might be familiar with in Dunleary or Cork or Galway. And this club mightn't have the seafront promenade and the big yacht club, but it has a big heart with lots of people, great development and great, great individuals like Seamus uh, came back and really built something on his passion. And there's a lot of pride and a lot of passion. We have six high-tech uh, catamarans that are in the background and uh, then we have a range of smaller boats, monohull uh, boats, for all different skill levels. And we have about 25 serviceable ones with um, six motor boats of different grades. Sailing is a very, it's one of our ancient skills and a lot of these skills have been forgotten so all we're doing is reintroducing people to those skills. So, one of the first things they learn is where the wind is coming from and how to utilise the wind, how to spot changes in weather. Then they learn the parts of a boat, what the sails do, how they work, and uh, everything is about working with nature. It doesn't take long for them to get hooked on it, and it's a sport that could be in any coastal community in Ireland, and it's just a pity that there isn't more of it. Children are our greatest asset, so it's very important that we encourage them. Um, they're, by coming to us, they found a place where they can meet, make friends, and have a very healthy lifestyle, a very healthy sport. So what more could any organisation offer? A typical afternoon sailing would be in the waters in, uh, between Akin and Ballycroy and Bellicraher Bay. Then we'd have a number of camps where we'd uh, sail to different islands and camp for two, three nights. And so we do the survival skills and the camping and they have their sing songs and everything else. So catch their fish on the way and cook them at night time. So it's a real back to nature, Bear grills type. I've been sailing for a few years, since I was about nine or 10. And what do you enjoy about the sailing? Um, just it's a good feeling, like being out in the water. Just I love the water, so it's just great. So what what will these be learning today now? Um, just how to sail, how to control the boat, maybe capsize on recovery or life saving, like a life raft. How to cope if your boat or something goes down in the water. And how are they feeling about it? I just say a few of them are nervous. I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, enjoy it anyway. Thank you. Bela Crahar Bay is Bay of the Plunderer, association with pirates and smugglers. It was the main highway. This is the linked Black Sod Bay with Clue Bay. So um, before, this was the M50 of the West. You know, uh, long before the Greenway or the roads were even brought, we had galleys passing through here, going to the terminus at Dohal, on the Mulrani side, just below the railway bridge. It's a magnificent bay. Well, Henry, Whatever you think about the bay from here, it's out there you want to see it from. So if you don't mind, will you get ready and we'll go sailing. Time to go sailing. Right, Henry, let's go.
our future plans with them um, to renew, keep renewing our fleet and keep the membership at the same and maybe increase it, develop our special needs programme a bit more. At the moment we have one boat that we specially adapted for special needs for wheelchair users and uh, we hope to have a, a floating facilities um, to take account of the tidal situation here and uh, changing rooms and uh, a hoist or a crane for wheelchair users and uh, we'd like to develop that much further. Mm -hmm.